So lately it looks like we have so many launches when it comes to makeup and for some of them I'm so excited so I wanted to share a couple of them that I think that actually caught my eye and I'm thinking about purchasing them and review for you. Now I have two mentions from Sigma, one of them is, which we'll talk a little bit later, their collaboration with Shayla and then one that I'm going to film actually um, tomorrow so you can expect that video in a couple of days and that is their new collaboration. Um, this one is with Disney, Alice in Wonderland and this got me excited just because of um, color story. This one is much more colorful. First let's talk about new Charles Tilbury airbrush powder but this one is in translucent. If this is anything like her airbrush flawless finish this is going to be good because this one, if you're asking me, this one is the best setting um, powder when it comes to, especially when it comes to under eye area. This is so fine. I was actually confu confused when I was buying this. Um, I think there was only like three shades. I'm not sure even if they expanded a little bit, but one shade goes a long way. Like even this one that I had, this one is in number one, fair skin perfecting micro powder and really it is. So as I was editing this video there was a post on Trend Moon saying that airbrush brightening flawless finish is available now and I went on her website and it is $46 but it is not just about one shade. I thought it's going to be universal translucent shade but obviously we have two shades. One is for fair to medium and then we have from tan to deep but they are both working as a translucent that have an ability to highlight the area that you are putting this product on. Here is what it says on website, it is new complexion perfecting translucent powder to brighten, blur and lift the look of your eyes and face. Now, when I look at the ingredients, um, on the first third of a ingredient description, there is also listed silica, meaning I'm afraid this product may leave that white cast. Here it says that it's soft focusing silica that makes skin appear smoother and blurs imperfections. That's right, but when it comes to flash photography, it can be really bad leaving that white cat, so we'll see about that. Then we have um, hyaluronic acid that uh, deeply hydrates skin as we know um, and that has a ab ability to lock in moisture and I'm looking forward to that. We also have vitamin C. So there is a full, um, if you go on the Charlotte Tilbury's uh, website right now, you can see the full ingredients and everything that I am talking about right now. Now I don't know what to think based on this ingredients list and the only thing is to try this product to see how it will perform. So this is a update news and you can from now you can go on her website and place your order for this product if you want. And let me know in the comment section down below if you did and how this one worked out for you. So what we can expect from this one right here that is transparent. Obviously you can use it all over the face. Again especially I'm under this under eye area it is so delicate especially if you're having mature skin you do want to use something that's really light like obviously it won't give you that much coverage there's nothing worse when for example you can invest so much in your high-end foundation liquid foundation and then put powder on top that is not good and it will make everything just cakey and it won't look good so heavy and the skin won't look good as we know. Next we have another collaboration, this one is Sigma with Shayla and this one is all about makeup brushes. Here we have six mm, most necessary eye brushes and apparently she was working to develop them with them for two years, that's a long time. So I would expect this to be really um, necessary and precise and high quality but what I can see from the picture, we have angle brush, pencil brush, large shader brush, flat brush and two blending brushes. One is smaller, the other one is a bit bigger. Of course for the eye looks what is absolute must have are the blending brushes. If you ask me like if that's number one when it comes to transition and blending you know how much I love 
I Lux. So I'm all about that precision, but these are actually not to be much more precise. These are actually necessary brushes, right? We do have angle brush. I don't know how thin this one is and how sharp actually it is. I do like this one, the small one that is actually called pencil brush. It's like a little bullet brush. I really like that, especially for the under eye area, like the lower third of the uh, um, lower eye part. Uh, you can see me use this type of brushes all the time when it comes to this area, especially. You do need smaller precise brush like that this one is, so I really like that. Um, then we have two blending brushes. Um, I This smaller, okay, I'm confused now. We have a larger shader brush. I would use this depending how thick it is um, on my brow bone area and also maybe depending what I'm doing to cut out the crease but I'm afraid this is a bit too big for the eyelids in general um, and when it comes to blending brushes the blending brushes I think like this bigger blending brush a bit too big I'm not sure and the smaller one being too pointy I think I just think from the picture I obviously I should try it but this smaller blending brush is too close to the um, pencil or I would call it bullet brush both of them can be good but I'm thinking blending brush size that is in between something like this um, this is NYX professional small burning precise blending brush um, this one is perfect if, if you ask me for the blending I love their collection with these mini brushes, they're so good. These brushes from Sigma, they have two years warranty, so that's good. And they were released a couple of days ago on August 18th. That's all I have to say for now when it comes to these brushes. Next, let's go to a another Charlotte Tilbury. This one is addition to the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. This looks stunning. It looks elegant. Packaging look is, looks elegant and uh, the whole design for this blushes and highlight. I um, think this is something I would like to try. I'm just thinking this rosy kind of tone for the highlight. I'm thinking is it, is it too rosy but then again you can mix it obviously with this cool lighter highlight and obviously so many times when I'm doing highlight, I like to even combine a couple of them if necessary to reach a certain color that I want or the certain finish, whatever I'm doing that day. I love this top cor corner left blush color. I think it looks amazing. Again, don't have much more information about this product, but everything that I find out, I will link in the description so you can find it. Lights La Care is coming out with makeup and these glosses, they look stunning, at least on the pictures. They, this is something I would like to try. They look stunning, this combination with the nail polish and the finish. It looks beautiful. What do we have here from the products? Army's Honey um, Jelly Balm. I love this one. This is Das Expensive Jelly Balm and then Alicia. I like the second one. I would like to try the one. I like the second one out of them all. I like it the best. Now something else we have for the holiday 2022 is... It is from Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Eyeshadow Palette. Not too crazy with this color story from this palette. I don't know. I'm thinking how to combine everything. Um, kind of miss the depth and the lights in this one. I feel like so many shades are, the range is so small, like it's in the middle. So, I don't know, I, honestly, I'm not too excited about this one. Again, I'm just talking about the color story that I have here on the picture, but um, just looking at that, um, it's not something that um, caught my eye instantly, like for example, Natasha Denona's palette or a couple of other products. For one of the new launches that are supposed to come out, one of them is from Natasha Denona and it is her My Dream Collection. And I already filmed a video on that one, so make sure to check that out if you want to see more details and my personal thoughts on that launch. I just cannot wait for a couple of these products to be announced so I can um, make a review and see hopefully they're gonna work out good. Sometimes we have so much hopes for certain 
products, especially for me when I see a certain color story, it's just like, I hope it's going to work the way I think it will. That's it for today and I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.